we're going to talk about value shapes. Now you've looked at a value scale and we're going to talk about when we draw that we are breaking something as complex as this glass of water is into value shapes. Now I hope this isn't too overwhelming. <laughs> It is a lot easier if you work with something very smooth and doesn't have a lot of reflection in it. But for this exercise, I just want to make sure that you're really clear on what I'm talking about. So I included a picture with a lot of shapes in it. I'm going to slide my scale in here for just a second. And what we're going to look at really quick is that some of these shapes, especially see this one, this shape is, and my lighting isn't great, I think it's I think it's bouncing. It makes the bottom one look almost white. There we go. I'll tilt it. See how black that is. This shape and this um, section down here are almost equal. Okay, so this is the darkest shape. I want you with a ballpoint pen to go in and outline that shape. Avoid. Do you see I have a little, there's a little string of three white dots. I'm just going to avoid that. I'm going to go around it. And I'm going to take a look at this shape in particular. Okay, I find more shapes that are very, very, very dark. And I'm going to outline that shape. There's another one. Now, if you need to generalize, please do. I, this is very, there are shapes within shapes within shapes. This can drive you nuts. So uh, there's a, a very, very white shape within this very, very dark shaped. Um, I'm going to turn my page and you may feel free, please feel free to turn your page. There is a long shape in here that is not quite as black. And there's another one inside. And a little dot. I mean, that you can go ad nauseum. This this just goes and goes and goes and goes. But what I'd like you to do is go through your glass of water and say, okay. Now your scale is not 16, mine is. But I want you to try to find a number one. So go in the glass and say, okay, which one is about a number one? And um, <laughs> I'm gonna run through here, and there's lots of number ones. So you just have to choose one. I'm gonna choose one that looks like kind of a little guy like a little guy. Hi. Can you see that? He's just right up there at the top. Okay. And then just go ahead and make an arrow and say there's a number one. And then I'm gonna look at something that's just a little bit lighter and outline that shape. Something that's just a little bit lighter than a number one. I see one in here. There's a number two. And I'm gonna look and say, okay, I need something a little bit darker than that one. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna go in here. And they're very weird. They're weird shapes. But it's just a little bit darker. I'm gonna look for number four. So I'm gonna look at the three and say, yeah, that's just a little bit. So I'm making, actually, I'm finding a scale without drawing a new one. All right, and on down the line till I finally find a 12 and if you want to go ahead and find a more you know a couple more but I want to at least have you label 1 through 12 and then go ahead I mean it would be it, it it's a great practice to do is just to sit there and identify for yourself these shapes because that's what you're doing when you draw you are looking for the shapes you're seeing what you see and then actually it doesn't matter which way you see it if you see this cup upside down you can actually draw the cup upside down. You can move it over here and you just draw the shapes as you see them. You just reproduce them and when you finally flip both right side up, they will look the same. You're trying to trick your brain into not making logical decisions. You're trying to make them make spatial and visual decisions. So when you turn your your photo reference one angle, turn your drawing that angle and just draw, just to trip your brain into to only identifying shapes, not making sense of it, not saying this is a glass of water. Water has little uh, waves on it. <laughs> you know, you'll make really bad, poor choices if you try to make sense out of it. In fact, let's just look at something that's very interesting here. Do you see how this shape along the edge is not even? 
you might actually make a decision to not make, you'd make a straight line there. By tilting it, all of a sudden I was more, I was able to clearly see that this is not a straight line. This has, this has movement to it in here. So anyway, don't ever hesitate to turn things upside down, but make sure you're drawing your, what you're making is also upside down. Okay. Don't, don't put the, the photo reference upside down and then try to draw it right side up on this side. You want both to go together. They stay together. If this is upside down, so is your drawing. Or if they're right side up, they're both the same way or sideways, you know. Okay. So the assignment is to just go through, circle, not circle, I'm sorry, outline shapes that you see and don't include like this this little drop. Don't don't make it one big general shape because this is two shapes. One is light and one is dark. Okay, they're two different shapes. So start learning to see that. And if you can break things down like this, you're gonna be outstanding. This is how it goes. Okay, hope that helps. Take care.